Hi guys, it's Axel from Symphoniac. Uh, in this video I will show you how to install Cilius. I personally encountered some problems doing it and now that I know how, I felt like it would be great to do a short video about it. Um, it will save you some time and headaches, so let's get started. If you check out the Cilius docs, there is a page about installation of Cilius. You could follow it, but when you try to execute the Cilius install command, after all vendors are installed, you will run into an exception or sometimes even a silent fail. This happens when creating the database. As you can see, there are still a lot of open issues regarding the installation process. Maybe if I find some time, I can get in there and contribute to these crucial issues as well. Uh, but for the time being, we'll just um, use a standard edition of Silius. Okay, so go to the Get Started page on the Silius website. Let's copy the line here for the standard edition, which is the one you want to be using unless you are planning on fixing issues and contributing. I assume you already have Composer installed. If not, go grab the link in the description. But now just let's paste this in my terminal window. This will create a new folder inside your current directory and clone all necessary vendors from GitHub. This might take some time. Okay, you have to set some parameters. Um, I'll just use localhost here. We need a secret so we can get that from the website. Uh, just, the website just randomly generates a secret, so just paste it over here. We'll use euros, and the rest of the parameters don't really matter right now. Okay, let's go see what that did for us. Directory here. Okay, so we have a full Symphony installation with all the vendors installed. As you can see, Silius is right over here. So we got everything we need. Now we're gonna have to run the Silius install command from the Symphony console. Sometimes PHP runs out of memory while doing this, so I always use any set in my console file. Okay, so let's run the Cilius command. What this actually does is executes a bunch of other commands like Doctrine Database Create and Doctrine schema create. This might take some time, but afterwards I also want to load the fixtures that come with Cilius. That will give us some data to work with. Also if you pick Euro as default currency when your parameters file is being generated, Twig will throw an exception claiming that the currency does not exist if you don't load the fixtures. So, and it's just nice to have some test data. Okay, so now let's load the fixtures that come with Cilius. This takes about a minute.
Okay, so let's go to our local host. And there you go, so it's installed. Uh, when the fixtures were loaded, uh, there was also a user account created, an administrator account. So we can use that one to log in. The username is well, Silius at example.com and the password is Silius. So you can log in using that one. And now there's an administration button on the top of the page. So that's it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to give it a like. I'll be making some more of these about Silius. So keep track of my uploads by subscribing. You can find Symphoniac on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, if you like Silius, make sure to give the project a star on GitHub. Links in the description. Thanks for watching.